What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Mark Summers, Major Linux, MajorsHouse.com, and got a clean table here. I'm not sure. I can't remember from the last video. This table was actually full of shit, but um, clean table. Cleaned it off because I'm actually about to start the build. I'm really excited. But before I do any of that, got one last thing to cut open. And it's this bad boy. That's right. Thought I forgot. I didn't. I mean, I did mention him, but we got it here. The uh, Fractazon No 202. It seems backwards to me. Oh, boy. I hope it's not. I, I, I hope this is reading Fractal Designs. No 202. If it if this looks backwards when I put it up, I'm gonna flip it. So yeah. I'm telling you this, and I'm probably gonna leave this in, just letting you know that hey, it may look right in the end result. Who knows? I don't know, but right now it this yeah, I'm wasting time. Um, yep, so this is the small bab. This is a small form factor case here that is supposed to be no bigger than an Xbox One, or at least comparable size to it contributing to some of the heft in this box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to open it up. Let's see here. Yeah. Get that there. Cut away. All right. Ugh. Oh, break. Oh, okay. Yep, so you can see on the bottom here, it's telling me there is a 450 watt power supply that is attached, that is included for this particular product. Here we go. The box is off. Take away the piece here. All right, so, oh, wow, it even comes with a stand. That I did not know it came with, so that's pretty cool. So, I don't know. I'm looking at this now. This does not seem smaller than an Xbox One. It actually, well, I mean, it may be smaller than the OG Xbox One, like the, the, the one that came out in 2013. Possibly even the one that came out in 03. That, that's when the Xbox, the OG Xbox came out, right? Um, but yeah, so. User got here, but hit you over here, the node 202. So let's see, yeah, so it's a little heavy and it's because again, it, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, so as you can see here, the power supply is built in. So yep, there's your power right there. Um, two expansion base here on the side. This is where the, IO and stuff's gonna go once I put the motherboard in. Um, see, look, we've got. See, oh, look, it comes with a power cord. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Fractal Design. You're amazing. We're including the power cord, too. Um, granted, I imagine it would. Like, I think any power supply comes with its own power cord. But yeah, I think overall, like, the weight of the system, or the weight in this case, is because of the um, power supply. Um, so let's see here, we've got the front I.O., I believe. It doesn't look like it's USB 3.0. Norm like, normally USB 3.0 is like blue, but I'm not sure if, because you know that's become the new standard, there's hardly a computer that does not have all USB 3.0. Actually, I, I, let me take that back. Well, I mean, my motherboard for Major Rig, and I even, I think, Major Home, they both have USB 2.0 slots, but I think those are mainly like you know, plug your USB keyboard and mouse into them, um, which necessarily don't need 3.0. Um, so I don't know. These, they are 3.0. Okay, they are labeled there. I'm not sure if that'll pick up any, but yeah, like underneath them, they are labeled 3.0. So there are two USB 3.0 slots. Um, I guess this is um, microphone and headphones or speaker jacks power button right here it doesn't seem like there is a reset switch on it 
Um, okay, you got your two, got your two expansion slots here, and I imagine in order to get into this, I'm going to have to unscrew it. Which, yeah. Oh wait, I do. I do have a tool. I do have a tool. This tool has a tool. Okay, screws are off, so hopefully I should be able to, hopefully, should be able to take off the chassis here. Oh, yep, and there it goes. Easily lift off here. So, almost willing to bet, like, yeah, this little top part here, that's probably where the CPU fan and stuff is going to, you know, either expel the heat, sucking the cool air, I don't know. You, you'd think I'd figure this shit out by now, but, um, so yeah, top of the case here is off, which I imagine, yeah, it should be easy to kind of put back on and then turn it upside down and screw it. So hopefully nothing will fall out while I try to do that. So see inside the box or inside the case where is a box of accessories. Yeah. So we got some additional stuff, power supply, screws, drive screws, um, riser card stuff, excuse me, riser card stuff here, um, cable tassel, cable management, which I may or may not, I should, I should get better about that, I really should, um, got motherboard screws, riser card screws, and, ooh, some case feet, um, uh, so just in case if I want to put the case down like this, as opposed to using, crap, I forgot there were screws in there. Oh boy, today, yeah, it's it's going to be a day. This is going to be a day. So yep, as you can see here, integrated into the system is the power supply. So like they put it way over here, but you plug it in right over here. So they've got like this extension cable that's running all the way through over to here. Honestly, seeing how they did that, I am really glad that I went for a, and yes, the power supply is what's, um, it's what's, making this thing really heavy for um, as small case as it is. I'm glad that I did opt in to getting a case that did have the power supply built in. So that way I wouldn't have to worry about that part. Cause that was the one thing I was worried about was how am I going to, how am I going to implement this power supply into the small case? Like I'm used to building in cases that have that room. Granted installing the power supply in major home was it wasn't trippy, it wasn't a hard thing to do, but it was something that I had to kind of get used to seeing that it was a box. It wasn't like a tower where, you know, either your power supply is gonna be up top, like I'm not sure if you can see that computer that's in there, like the power supply is up top and like, you know, you got everything under it or like for major home or for major rig and a lot of normal tower PCs, that power supply, like the power supply, it's everything is linear up and down. This one is kind of weird because like you plug it in way over here, but the power supply is way over here. It's kind of crazy. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of an interesting setup. And I'm again, glad that I did buy a case that did have that. Took care of this for me. It's one less thing I have to worry about when building. But yeah, now it's just hope of making sure I can get everything that I, everything else that I bought to fit in here. That's actually going to be the fun of this. It's also a reason why I'm not streaming this build. And like, again, I'll probably check in every so often or make like go check in videos every so often, you know, to kind of get the status of the build as opposed to doing it live or doing it or like recording the entire build. Because I feel like with this being that new, this new form factor is something I've never worked with before. I'm skeptical that I can keep that cool under pressure and I don't want to get angry um, or I don't want to visibly be angry unless there's something that I really feel like I should be angry about and not like just frustrated because I can't get a thing to work. So yeah, this is the fractal. I've got some screws I gotta find. Um, so yeah, I will, I guess, check back later. Let you guys see what the progress is. Um, again, this will be today, like it's Wednesday night. I'm actually in about a couple of hours. I'll be doing um, Not Your Friends. And again, Thursday with Tech Talk Thursday. So this will be a few days build. I'm hoping to at least get it done before Saturday, which is my wife's birthday. This is her computer. So I'm hoping to get it done before Saturday so that way she can actually have a dope computer to use. 
Um, really excited. So, yeah. Until next time. Peace out. Oh, what? Oh, oh. hold on. Give, give, give me a second. Give me. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, well, I hope you really enjoyed what you just saw. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in, for um, clicking the video. Of course, um, if you'd like to see more of this dope content, we'd love to support the channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button below. Click that bell icon so you can be notified of more content that we produce here. Um, also, um, click the, the boxes. They, they're here. They should be here now. I, I don't know if they're not, if they are, but definitely click these boxes here. Um, take you to more wonderful content that we produce on the channel and I guarantee you will not be disappointed. So yeah, till then, peace out.